So let's do a quick little demo of this application. First, there's the Tinder section, which queries the Jiffy API, and it displays memes that you can either like or dislike. There's also a disliked and liked section. In the beginning, these two sections aren't gonna have anything in them, but say you like a couple memes, then the like section is going to get filled with the memes that you've liked in the order that you like them. And right now we still haven't disliked any memes. So let's say we dislike this meme, and now that is in the disliked section. And that's sort of the basic rundown of this app. Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about full stack web development and productivity. In this code review, I'll go over how to code a Tinder for memes using the Jiffy API in Vue.js. And before we get started, I'm gonna ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more content just like this. As always, I'm going to assume that you have some familiarity with Vue and that you can use the Vue CLI to set up a project with any CSS library that you like. I set this project up with Vue.js, Airbnb, ES Lint config, and Tailwind CSS. You will also need to set up the Jiffy API for this project. If you want the full details, then check out the video I made last week on how to get started with the Jiffy API in Vue. Otherwise, here's a 30 second summary. And just as a quick note, the links I use in this video are in the description box down below. First thing you want to do is head over to your project directory and run npm install jiffy js fetch api. Next you'll want to log into jiffy and get an api key. You can do so by going to the top right of the website where it'll give you the option to sign up or log in and you can just come down here and press create an app, select API, next step, add some information about your app, agree to the terms and select create app. I've already done that so I have an API key right over here. Afterwards you'll want to head over to the Jiffy docs located inside of Jiffy JS repository. You can import this into your view project and run a simple query like so. First, I have to import the API. Next, inside of an async function, I create the object and I get random memes. Once I get the data, I bind it to a variable on my view template called GIF. So this.gif equals GIF. Once you bind the data, you can just display the GIF using an image tag inside of your view template. All you have to do is run npm run serve, and if you've installed everything correctly, this should be working. As you can see, when I refresh the page, I get a new meme on my view application. Before we dive too deep into the project, I want to mention an error that we're getting right now. I cannot read the property original of undefined. Why is this happening? If we go back to our code, you'll notice here that we have an image tag, and this image tag assumes that there is a SRC under our template variable GIF. We have to remember that while we are running this function, while we are trying to load a random GIF as the template is created, this is an asynchronous function because it fetches information from a remote API. And because it's an async function, it is something that perhaps could be undefined for a couple seconds. And that is why we're getting this error inside of our image tag. So let's just add a little bit of error handling to fix that. And you'll see here that I'm gonna do a VF. If the GIF does not exist, and this is just a roundabout way of saying that, then we're gonna say that it's loading. Otherwise, we're just going to display the image. So now, if I refresh the page, we should have the result that we want without any errors on screen. So as you can see, when I refresh the page, there are no errors appearing on the console because we're now handling the error when there is no GIF in the template. So the next thing that we want is the ability to swipe right or swipe left. In this case, let's just add the ability to swipe right. It's like saying, I like the meme. And when we swipe right, we wanna store some information. Inside of our data object, we can add an array. And this array is gonna be called the liked GIFs array. And whenever we swipe right, we want to add the GIF uh, into our liked GIFs array, and that can easily track which GIFs we like so far. We bind it to a function called swipe right. And so here we are adding a button, and when we click the button, we're going to trigger swipe right, and that is a function, or that is a method on our view template. As you can see, we have some methods, and that is one of the methods that 
we're going to add. And so what we're going to first do is check if the GIF is not saved. Because the Jiffy API doesn't have millions and millions of memes that you can use, there's points where you might get a meme that you've already liked. So and that is why we have to check if the GIF is not yet saved. And if we realize that we're not currently storing the GIF, then we can add it to our array. This is just a basic app, so I don't think it matters for this, but I just want to clarify what I'm doing here is I'm basically keeping the length of this liked GIFs array to be three. If it's more than three, then we're going to remove the oldest element in the array and add the newest one. We also want to, oops, we also want to load a new random GIF. So if I keep pressing like, we're gonna keep getting more and more new GIFs. And real quickly, I'm gonna do the same thing with the swipe left button. I don't think the code here is very different from the swipe right button, so I'm just gonna uncomment all of that. And once we save and refresh, you should see the like and dislike buttons. Now the last thing that we wanna do is to be able to switch sections based on which button we click. So first, let's just add these buttons. And when you click it, we're gonna change the section. When we change the section, we're taking in variables such as Tinder, liked, or disliked. And we're just setting that as the variable inside of our template. But when we try to try to click disliked or liked sections, nothing is happening. That's because even though we're changing the section internally inside of view, we are not updating what is displayed on screen. So regardless of which section it is currently, we're not changing the UI to match which section is supposed to be displayed. Now what we wanna do is when they press liked or disliked or Tinder, we want to change the UI on screen. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So here I created a simple, um, I'm creating a simple div, right? And in this div, let's not do anything here. Let's just say liked. So we have a liked div. And if the section is liked, then we're gonna see liked. If the section is disliked, then we're gonna see disliked. And finally, otherwise, if it's neither liked nor disliked, then we're just going to see the Tinder section. So now, if we refresh this app, and we go to the disliked section, we should see disliked. We go to the like section, we should see liked. Oh, it looks like there's some something going on here. Ah, I see. So here we should do a V else if, I think. V else if, and then we should do, yeah, we should do a V else. Yeah, so if we go to the like section, we'll see liked. If we go to the dislike section, we'll see disliked. If there are no liked GIFs, then we're just going to display some text. Otherwise, for each of the liked GIFs in the like GIFs array, which has been reversed so that, because when we add, we add to the bottom, but when we wanted to display them, we wanted to display them reverse. Um, we're going to display the liked image. I mean, sorry, the liked GIF. And of course, for the disliked section, we're doing the same thing except with the disliked GIFs array. So we refresh the page. Oh, there are some errors. V else if directive require preceded by the element which has a V if what? Where is this? This is in. Hmm. I think this is a V. Ah, I see. It was just an extra layer of code. There we go. All right, this is a little bit of a creepy meme, but I guess I'm gonna have to end it here. So yeah, I mean, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about coding a Tinder for memes using the Jiffy API in Vue.js. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content. I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.